Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around an Iron Bull, four foot high sided, seven by 12, 14,000 pound DTB series dump trailer. So this unit is standard except for the four foot high sides. Everything else here is standard stock equipment. I, with one small exception, the spare tire mount is technically an option, although it ends up on most of the Iron, or, yeah, Iron Bull uh, seven wide dump trailers. So starting out up front, it's got a nice heavy duty uh, cast adjustable coupler. It is a six hole channel. It's got a cast coupler and it's got a beefy uh, front reinforcement with an integrated chain holder. Nice setup. Uh, that is uh, one of our heavier duty ones in the industry, the way they box those out. And then uh, 12K jack is now standard equipment. It's also got an integrated 110 volt charger. S simply plug in an extension cord to house current, help keep your battery maintained. Uh, note, I believe this is going to be a 5 amp hour charger. That's a 140 amp hour battery. So keep that in mind. That's about 30 hours of charging to ch fully charge a discharge battery. Uh, it does have the protection on the uh, positive terminal. It's also got an inline circuit breaker. Uh, it is currently an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's got a KTI pump, power up, power down hydraulics. It's power both ways, power up and power down. Uh, this one also has an integrated voltage meter. Uh, pretty slick idea. So a little bit longer conversation than what I have uh, here for a video, but basically it's a power up, power down unit. If your battery's dead and this unit's powered up uh, and it doesn't have enough output for the battery or for the pump, which is at 295 amps. Uh, if it's got something less than 295, but more than zero, it's going to open that coil. It's going to allow the bed to come down if the battery uh, does not have enough to put uh, the output out for the pump. It's going to allow this bed to basically free fall down. The only downside is instead of circulating fluid through a loop, it's going to drain out the one side. It's going to end up uh, in your box. So by having an integrated voltmeter, it makes it nice. Uh, you can generally eliminate that. You can know what voltage you need to be before you got to charge it. Now, that said, I did notice one other thing that's a newer feature uh, that Iron Boy is doing. So this is a manual relief valve. So basically, uh, we got this bed up just a tiny little bit, and I'll show you what it does. So it's up a little bit, I just opened it. So basically, when you open this, it's gonna actually manually activate, and bada bing, bada boom, it's gonna come down. So you also have that function as well. Neat feature, that is not on very many trailers. There was one brand we had that did it for a brief period of time and then moved away from it, presumably because of cost, uh, but that is currently on these iron bulls. Also notice the gas shock. Uh, that's on a toolbox lid. Sounds like a minor detail. Some manufacturers don't put anything on that. This lid will come open and you eventually crush it uh, on the hoist itself. Tarp kit is standard equipment on these. Nice setup. It's got a ball bearing. It's got a spring-loaded handle. It's also got an anti-sail bar, which makes it nice. You can basically take that tarp with one hand. This being a high side, I'd probably throw a rope maybe. Uh, on the center of it so it's easier to get back to the back but the sail bar makes it nice because it deploys the tarp nice and straight rolls up nice and neat this unit's got a nice heavy duty front corner post notice it returns back you can just kind of hear the difference if you if you hit on most dumps it's not going to sound that solid also uh new for more recently would be the side step it's also got some additional uh, tie downs in addition to your inside D-ring tie downs as well. This unit is the heaviest build of what we currently offer in a 14,000 GBW. If you take a look, you can kind of see it all right here. So you've got a six inch, 12 foot pound I-beam mainframe, or I'm sorry, tongue. Above that, you've got the six inch, 12 foot pound I-beam mainframe. And above that, you've got a six inch tube bed frame. Uh, industry standard here would generally be, say a six inch channel, 8.2 foot pound tongue six inch 8.2 foot pound channel main or some in the industry are actually using an eight inch 10 foot pound what we call a mono frame so front to back what you're going to find is this unit is built a little heavier and especially in this area right here so if you look between your front axle and your coupler uh, the midpoint would be your weakest point this unit's got a 24 foot pound of steel in that area so again uh pretty heavy heavyweight mainframe on these and again this is the traditional stack frame it's got the mainframe over the tongue 
Now, if you look around the industry, a lot of times you'll find a three or a four inch tube bed frame, sometimes channel bed frame. This is six inch tube on the bed frame. Uh, also, while we're going over gauges and measures, sidewalls on these are 10 gauge. A lot of times your sides are gonna be a little lighter, sometimes 11 or 12. Also new for 2021, this has a seven gauge floor. Industry standard normally is gonna be 10 gauge, which is one eighth of an inch. This has seven gauge, which is 3 16th. 3 16th weighs about two, two and a half pounds per square foot more uh, than a 10 gauge, which roughly on this size dump is gonna add about 200 pounds or so to the floor. If you're doing concrete debris or similar, uh, anything with rocks, boulders, definitely, um, definitely a good idea going with something like this. So again, this is your stack frame, moving back, fender gusset. Uh, this has your double broke fender standard. Also underneath, uh, the fender you see Dexter never adjust. This has Dexter axles. These have the newer style never adjust brakes. So they're gonna self tension just like a car to the proper tolerance so you've always got brakes. You can tell it's also a Dexter axle. It's got those new style caps. It's got your traditional eight on six and a half lug pattern on your wheel. This is a black mod style wheel. It's also got a 235-80 R16 load range E 10 ply radial tire. It's also got the slipper spring suspension for standard equipment. So this unit is also powder coated. I did skip over the powder coated tough sticker up here. It's also NATM compliant. And it's got an Iron Bull 232 warranty program. Covers the trailer uh, structure for three years, the uh, components for two, and then roadside assist as well. So the nice features on this high side dump, you've got the, uh, the stake pockets, or I call them pole pockets, because they're a lot bigger and heavier than a traditional stake pocket. Uh, those are standard equipment on this particular dump. So let's keep going around the trailer here, show you some more additional features. So this unit does not have rear jack stand standard, but it is prepped for them. Uh, it's nice because for the folks that do want those, uh, generally we have them in stock, we can simply add them uh, the hardware is there. So this does have undermount ramps. They are a little bit wider ramp. They're about 18 inches. Uh, I believe industry on these is gonna be about 14 to 16. So you get a little bit wider target if you are using the ramps often. Uh, another nice feature, sometimes manufacturers do this keyway, but they only do it on the two long sills down the long sides. This has it uh, all the way around the trailer. Just adds a lot of strength to it. So this door, even though it's a high side trailer, is still a three-way door. So by three ways, it's gonna be a barn door. Okay, so we can barn door around to the side. And all we're gonna do, it's a little bit cold today. We're just gonna hook the ring on here. Very simple, very secure. Okay. So again, there's the integrated keyway. Now this is not welded on, that is actually formed into the panel, which makes it very strong. There's also grease zerts on the hinge itself. D-rings in the corners. And again, this floor is one piece. It's not seamed and it is seven gauge on the floor, which as we said, is 3 16 Very heavy duty floor setup. Okay, we offer this in a three and a four foot wall. This is the four foot wall model. That's the barn door. This unit also has the spreader set up and you can also uh, pull the top pins and lay it down like a pickup truck style gate. If you wanted to spread, there's a release handle there which you can spread. Ramps on this are the hook style. So you just pull them out the back under carriage. You can slide them together as close as about six, eight inches there. Put the bed up, finish showing you the rest of this particular unit. So as we said, your voltage meter, we're sitting at 10.4 volts. So if you're a commercial duty user, uh, you'll find out over time what the voltage is that you would be required to charge your battery to keep from having the experience we talked about earlier. So this unit is a 516 scissor hoist. You'll notice on the scissor, they also use tube on the scissor, not, uh, not angle iron or channel. Again, you get a better shot of that stacked I-beam tongue and frame. 
unit does have a safety prop you'll see there. You'll notice that your uh, hydraulics are also secured back nicely and neatly. So again, it is a 516 scissor. Now, one neat feature about an iron bowl that I haven't seen anybody else do, they started this about four or five years ago, is these uh, underbody channels. They're actually very smart design. Your ramps will actually tuck into those. And then they are right where the tracks of a piece of equipment would go. So they give a lot of support right, uh, right where you need it as you load your piece of equipment. So again, folks, this is a seven by 12. We also offer this in a 14 and a 16 foot. It's an iron bull, four foot high side dump. Available in a gooseneck or a bumper pull as shown here. So this unit's gonna weigh in in the low fours, uh, generally gonna be about 4,200 pounds, 4,300 pounds on something like this. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 98 and you're also gonna pick up some tongue weight. Tongue weight's generally gonna be about 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. If you need something a little heavier, it is also available in the 8,000 pound axle variety, but 7,000 pound is the most common. Notice that the scissor achieves about 45 to 50 degree angle. If you have any questions on this or any real other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.